don't care what you have to say, you don't got nothing on me. What's up y'all, it's Wes Indy Ray back again with another video. Today is gonna be something a little different for me. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this indestructible hair that I got from a company called Door Hair. Now, you will understand why I say it's indestructible. Um, I'm not kidding around, this is not a joke, this is not a, it's not a warning, it's not a drill. This hair is indestructible and you will see why shortly. But real quick, I wanna show you guys, like the hair's on my head, so you're already seeing the hair. But it comes with two of these wig caps. I already used one of them. One is on my head as well. Um, it comes with an extra strap, and it's one of those straps that looks like a bra strap. There's probably a more fitting name for it, but I don't know what that name is. It actually has two of these little things in there and two of these. I have no clue how I would go. I guess I could see how I could put this on, realistically speaking. Not really, but um, maybe if I need like an extension or something. There's a, there's a strap on the hair, you'll see it, but it comes with like these extensions. It also comes with one of these little brushes. I actually use these for my real life and for my real hair. So it comes with that as well as a little pamphlet flyer with this cute girl on the back. So yeah, that's what door hair is like. They came in like a, um, a little shipping package with a box like this. But really, I just wanna give you guys a fair warning. This video is gonna make some of y'all very upset. It's going to piss some hairstylists off Everybody's going to be tempted to tell me that I'm doing everything wrong, but guess what? Guess what, sweetie? I already know, okay? I already know. Um, no need to tell me again. This is gonna be the cringiest YouTube video, hair tutorial that you've probably ever seen in your life. I'm going to actually pull it up on here and watch it with you guys because I kind of just did a rough cut of it and I think that that's what the video is gonna end up being. We'll talk about it and I'll let you guys know what I was doing, what was going through my mind at the time and I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. But first, this is what the hair looks like. This is what the color is like. It's really cute. Nobody can tell me anything. I think it looks bomb. I think I look fire, okay? It's kind of like a red wine, dark color. You guys know I'm a blonde girl. I like having the honey blonde color going on that light brown. So this is a really nice change. And the hair type is kinky straight. So it looks a lot like relaxed hair to me. Like if I had really thick, full relaxed hair, I feel like it would look like this if it was like red and sexy and sultry, you know? So I'm just gonna hop right in and start watching this video. First things first, I'm showing you guys the construction of the cap, okay? This cap is a medium average size cap and it has the clips in it. And now I'm showing you guys that I'm using the BW2 extra strength bleach, volume 30, developer, I got foil, I got a plastic bag that you'll be kind of annoyed with me about how I use the plastic bag later, and then my mixing bowl and my little brush. So over to the side, that is actually my makeshift wig stand that I got, and I didn't measure how much of anything that I actually mixed up, I just kind of guesstimated it. And I started in the front. Now, my girl is looking kind of sad. You see that tear? It gets worse, okay? I didn't intentionally go into this video like for it to be ratchet, but I think like on the first few strokes, I knew that it wasn't gonna work out in my favor. <laughs> but I ended up flipping the wig inside out, not only to get all the hair from the bottom, but to also bleach my knots at the same time, because why not? And then to make everything go faster, I put that aluminum foil on there because like, also why not? Like, you just see me combing through it at this point. I know that you guys saw the transition with the hair. It's actually really brassy. If there's anything I don't like about this hair, it's that it just gets red. It doesn't really get blonde. So I don't see, like if you're wanting to go like platinum or something, I don't see how this would, work with this hair but it got really red and it wasn't really dying on the ends so 
I put um, foil on the ends and then I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up because why not so yeah I'm just cleaning up my floor because clearly I don't know what I'm doing so I got a lot on my floor and then I'm gonna use that plastic bag you saw in the front I didn't know I was gonna use it for this but I guess I'm just gonna use it to put my thing in the trash and then you know go ahead and put foil on the top so we can get this party going thumbs up yeah so then I apply heat which is taboo to some but it worked out for me clearly and this is what the hair looks like at the time I just decide let me go ahead and wash that out and I'm using the Aunt Jackie's coconut wash cocoa wash and after I'm done doing that I actually did use the Aussie rinse thing um the three minute aussie thing and then i'm putting heat protectant on it i only use the aussie thing for three minutes and while i took a shower and stuff and then i washed it out not that i only took a shower for three minutes because it was actually a lot longer than that but this is what the hair looks like once i'm done blow drying it one thing i really like about that blow dryer is that it's so easy to use it's like a blow dryer for lazy girls so it's a hairbrush and like a paddle brush and a blow dryer at the same time I got mine from Ulta I think they sell it at like CVS and maybe like I don't want to say Target I think they don't have it at Target because I looked at Target and they didn't have it maybe like Walmart or something but I don't go to Walmart because you know so I actually have no clue if you can get it at Walmart or not but I got mine from Ulta um, it's really a lazy girls blow dryer and it works really really fast I blow dried my natural hair in like 20-30 minutes one time and it was amazing and I didn't have heat damage because it's not that powerful but it's like powerful enough so I just use that on the hair and as you can see it still has that like kinky straight texture but it's not as like voluminous as it was before in my opinion and then I'm just zooming in right now on the actual wig so that you can see what everything looks like what the part looks like it didn't get too bleached at the part either which is something that i really like and that's me being a creep Ooh, she's over me at this point my mannequin head is over me so i tried that like bald scalp method and i just used got to be glued spray the yellow one as well as the got to be glued black um gel for that and I think it worked out pretty good I'm also using the gel on my hairline or right after my hairline and that's what I'm gonna use to tack it down and this wig is not going anywhere you guys also the strap on the back helps so much when it comes to it not moving anywhere like I feel like I could probably do back flips in this and nothing would happen and I'm using the end of my rat tail comb to kind of <laughs> to kind of let everything press in so that it's not lifting up at this point I still have my lace on and I find that to be very helpful because personally if the lace is not on like my hair is gonna get caught up in the glue or the the gel and my baby hairs are gonna be ruined so I really like doing this part with the lace on especially when I first started wig so that it doesn't mix in like the I have a really really huge problem with flyaways and baby hairs if that makes sense but as you can see you can't see anything like with that scalp method that I have here like it looks melted sis so I don't know what y'all got going on but my baby hairs are laying down I'm still using the same got to be glued because I don't really have that many products at this time if y'all want to send me some products send me some money that would be cool but I'm using got to be glue for everything because I don't have time so like the side part didn't really look that cute to me so I decided to go ahead and switch to a middle part and I kept that same swoop from my baby hairs when I was doing the side part I kept that same swoop because I feel like why not keep the same energy if it's cute you know I feel like it helped me blend more and I'm just using that same blow dryer to blow it down and then my little you know what are those called hot combs to lay it down even more because I don't like looking puffy up here to me I like the volume but it looks very unrealistic when it's like super super puffy 
So I just went ahead and did that. And then I used my NYX Stay, Na Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation in the color 11 on my actual part because I like to use the actual color that I use on my face. I feel like it just looks a lot more realistic. So I went ahead and did that. And then at some point, you know, I gotta put the hair behind my ear because it's my signature. Like you'll really rarely ever see me wear straight hair without having something behind this ear because I think this is the best side of my face. So that's the reason why I did it and why I always do it, you know? So I'm just kind of flattening it out. I ended up putting some like bumping up the side, but first I actually went ahead with an, a professional tool that professionals actually use. And it's like a comb type thing with a blade in it. And I use that to kind of thin things out and get it a little more ragged and like raggedy. So, you know, after that I just went ahead and curled my hair with the with the hot comb even though I could have done it with a curling iron or with a flat iron maybe kind of unorthodox you know I just do my own thing live my own life I suggest that you do the same and then I just put a little bit of that freeze spray on it so that it'll stay up here for all of eternity and that's really all I did um you might want to drag me for the fact that I did everything wrong you might want to accept me for who I am and just say Thank you, Reagan, for an awesome video. But either way, if you made it to the end of the video, please make sure you leave a comment in the comment section of a unicorn. Let me know that you're here, you're rocking with me. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow all my social media accounts right down there, including my social media account for my business, Indigo Nine Jewelry. I follow everybody back on that account. So please go ahead and Hit me up on there. I make waist beads and things of that nature. Really cool stuff, you know? So please support that business. Um, <laughs> I really have nothing to say about the video. I wish I had more to say, but I did it all wrong and it looks fly. So don't let anybody steal your shine or tell you that you're doing things wrong because if it works for you, it works for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hurting nobody. Who is you? You ain't nobody. You can't tell me nothing, okay? I think I look great. So let me know if you think this looks great. So I really do hope you like that video. Again, like, subscribe, comment, share, follow all my social media accounts right down there. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't hate me, please. Bye. Peace.